Greetings to Screed Defenders. It's been about a year and a half since I brought out the old Springfield XD, but tonight I have a little bit of a treat. It's a three round shoot off featuring a pretty standard 180 grain federal premium law enforcement round versus a couple of Underwood kind of almost borderline wildcat rounds. Uh, they're, they're, uh, they're light for caliber. 135 grain Nosler projectile and uh, 155 grain XTP Hornady XTP. And the reason that I've brought out these two Underwood rounds is because they're the hottest 40 caliber rounds in the entire Underwood online catalog. They're, they're not plus P rounds. They are definitely within Sammy specs. Basically, the federal law enforcement round is just up there as a uh, as a baseline for uh, for the other two for comparison purposes. I'm going to be testing these two Underwood loaded projectiles in a gel block later on. But first up, I'm going to chronograph four rounds of each of these. Now, the federal, the HST, is the is the is the shell. Uh, on the extreme left here, the uh, the XTPs, the Hornadies, the 155 grain is the is the round in the center, and the uh, screaming hot 135 grain round is the one on the right. That's the Nosler design. Now the list velocities are as follows. 1,400 feet per second for the 135 grain Nosler projectile. And 1,300 is the list velocity for the 155 grain Hornady XTP projectile. Again, both of these are Underwoods. But we'll test all three across the aging Pro Chrono and see what we get from the four inch barrel, I think it's actually technically a 4.06 inch barrel of the, uh, the Springfield XD. All right, as stipulated, we're gonna do four rounds of each. The first round across the crony will be the federal law enforcement 180 grain HST round. And I'm gonna be shooting from about five feet away. Nine sixty one. Nine fifty. Nine sixty five. Nine sixty eight. Four shot average. 961 feet per second. Once again, that is the 180 grain federal law enforcement, federal premium law enforcement HST round. Reset that. Next up is the 155 grain Hornady XTP projectile loaded by Underwood. 1259, 1260, 1258 and 1277. Four shot average on that one is 1263. Not bad. The list velocity is 1300. Those are coming in pretty close, honestly. Last four are the 135 grain Nosler projectile. 1362. 1370, 1355, 1353. <laughs> Those are noisy little buggers. Four shot average on that is 1360 feet per second. Those are some fun rounds to shoot out of the, uh, the Springfield XD.
<laughs> All right. First up, we have the 155 grain Hornady XTP jacketed hollow point. Underwood loaded again. The gel column is just under 17 inches total, backed by a couple of water jugs. And we have four layers of 14 ounce heavy denim in place. But not for long. <laughs> okay, yep, that's a good clean capture. That XTP <laughs> has gone. <laughs> I'm just laughing because <laughs> <laughs> Normally I'm out here shooting like 22 mags or 380s. <laughs> this is a completely different animal. I mean, I mean, it's honestly, it's a lot more fun to shoot. That has gone almost all the way through the, the 16 and 3 quarter inch gel column. Uh, you have to excuse me here because this is just, this is more fun <laughs> than I'm normally allowed to have out here. And we'll drop the 135 grain Nosler projectile, again, underwood loaded, just to the left of the Hornady, of the XTP bullet, and see what the results are. We <laughs> The, re the results are a world of hurt <laughs> and, uh, and a bullet that has almost predictably stopped a little short. That 135 grain, that, is, uh, that definitely did not make it. It's, it's expanded absolutely ridiculously. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can see that on camera. That, that's... <laughs> That's phenomenal expansion, but at nine and a half inches, that is not acceptable penetration. <laughs> it's, it's gigantic. I, here, let, let, let me, I'll, I'll pull the bullets out of there. I have to bust into my little gel block here. <laughs> and that's, that's just a lot of fun. But uh, obviously, the XTP has 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 gone a lot deeper than the Nosler hundred the, the the 155 grain XTP bullet has gone a lot deeper <laughs> and expanded a lot less. There's good old George, and we'll put that up next to the uh, the Nosler the 135 grain Nosler. This just flattened itself out to the diameter of a U.S. quarter. So, nine and a half inches of penetration for the 135 grain Nosler, under, the, the Underwood loaded 135 grain Nosler, versus 16 and a half inches of penetration for the 155 grain Hornady XTP loaded by Underwood. Beautiful, beautiful, complete expansion on both bullets. Despite the four layer denim barrier, basically neither one of these bullets gives a, gives a rat's rear <laughs> about that four layer denim barrier. They're just taking care of business. All right. Uh, once again, that's the, uh, Four layer heavy denim and ballistic gel penetration and expansion test of these two Underwood loaded bullets. What can I say? Obviously the XTP is superior, but uh, they're both a lot of fun to shoot. Thanks folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have a great week.